We're here today with Sally Hart because it's her daughter Carla's wardrobe that we're making over in her student accommodation. It's going to be a major improvement on yeah. what they've got at the moment, which is pretty typical, actually not too bad for a student, it's, it's, but it's a bit of a shambles. But the interesting thing is, is that Sally is actually a wardrobe expert. So you combine Sally's knowledge about wardrobes and, and how it's products and I think you've got a pretty powerful combination, especially in this particular wardrobe. But I'm looking at these shoes uh -huh, uh -huh. And, and I'm thinking these are not going to look very nice for very long. No, I know. Look, these beautiful shoes that she's got down here. Uh-huh. And um, well, I think we can do better than that. Well, let's get to it then. Okay. classic isn't it? It is, it's it is. Telltale sign. It is and when you mm. think about the fact the bed is normally here they've got this tiny little space to get into and so getting to the bottom is a real problem so we want to take all of the stuff from the bottom and move it up to this very usable space right here and also hopefully increase some hanging space and we're going to do that with some of the Howard's products. One of the things that you always look for in a wardrobe is little clues as to what the challenges are and what we've just noticed is here, there's actually a shopping bag, a really lovely shopping bag, but that's effectively acting as a, a shelf because it's got all of Carla's underwear in there. What I have here is a double hang. Now it's $21.95, which is so little money for a little piece of equipment that's going to make the world of difference in here. So by putting that in there, instantly we're creating an opportunity to have a second layer of storage. So Sally, yes. I think we have achieved what we set out to achieve. Should we have a look? Absolutely. It's fantastic. Yeah, great um, job, great job. Yeah, well when Carla and Will come home, they're gonna be pretty impressed. The big effect here is putting in this double hang, which is kind of like a trapeze. You know, you've got this um, rail here, which gives us an extra, mm -hmm. about 80 centimeters or so of hanging space, which is, brilliant because we've now that whole space there used, now, doesn't it? Exactly, mm. we've used that dead space and we've and so it just takes a little bit of categorizing of the clothes and I chose when I did this to put the shorter items in this space so that we've got some eye, you know, some visibility issues here so we can see the shoes. Do you know it's interesting because usually when we use double hang we would put the trousers and the long things down the bottom. I thought that was a really interesting choice in this instance. Mm -hmm. And to show how you can actually expand that shoe rack to that space is just brilliant in my book. Yeah, yeah, it's mm. fantastic. And then we found that if we brought that shoe rack toward the front of the wardrobe again, it improves visibility, which is a big issue when it's down low. For me, whenever I'm looking at a wardrobe, often the most underutilised space is an archive space. Mm -hmm. So by putting some nice totes up there, it makes whatever's up there a little bit easier to get out. And plus, it just makes it look nicer, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah, go to the other side. Indeed. Let's have a look. So Sally, in this side, we did something a little different, didn't we? Originally, we planned to put another double hang in here, but mm -hmm. it just made sense to really put these two sweater organisers together here, didn't it? It did. Um, you know, I thought about the fact that um, Will, he's doing a fair bit of maintenance work, so he wears pretty casual clothes, even though he's got some suits. So we wanted to create a little bit more shelving, um, but also organisation. So um, by putting in these um, really flexible, really economical shelves mm -hmm. in a standard wardrobe, we've been able to put some lateral storage in Often what people try to do is put in drawers and that's not great because their bed would be stopping them from being able to get to them. Mm. We've, we've put Carla's bras in here, she's got about 16 bras or more in that little space there. Gosh, that's a lot, just isn't it? terrific because mm. it's right where you can see it and get to same here and in actual fact we were sticking to a budget on this wardrobe but I think I will go and grab a couple more of these just to um, put little, you know, we've, we've done Will's ties here and that sort of thing and they're just fantastic. But how mm. versatile mm. that we can use them for shoes, makeup, jumpers, t-shirts, underwear, everything. But we even managed to make enough space to put the suitcases in there. Down the bottom here, it's a great idea, um, Lisa had to put the handbags on the shoe racks because mm. we've got so much shoe storage over there we actually didn't need any more. Mm. So that's again brought it up to a great height for Carla to be able to reach. We've actually fitted some more of the um, hanging in that was in his suitcase as well. So not only is this more organised, we've actually got more stuff in here. Mm. And we've got some um, some totes up the top. Often in a small apartment, it's a problem of what you do with the linen and your your towels. Yeah. So by having two dedicated totes up there, 
nicely popped away, easy to yeah. get out. Well, I think that's a great result, Sally. Fantastic. Thank you. Well, thank you. Here's a clever little extra, but um, again, it's only around about the $20 mark. It's called a crunch can. One of the common things in student accommodation is taking your laundry to a shared laundry. This is fantastic quality, and you just undo the toggles on the side. So it takes up no room when you're storing it. And bingo, you've got yourself a lovely, easy to carry laundry hamper. I particularly like the fact that it's got this mesh front um, on here, and it's, um, and it's just simple and easy. Very good solution. We have well and truly shown that with a few economical organisers and a little bit of know-how, with a lot of help from Sally Hart, we've well and truly gone down that pathway of totally improving the space for Will and Carla.